In this video, we will talk about Nesuperatino block. The topic included are anatomical landmarks, indications, technique, subjective and objective symptoms. The Nesuperatino nerve block is used to block the Nesuperatino nerve. The Nesuperatino nerve, as it emerges from the anterior palatine foramen, located on the anterior palate region, just behind the central incisors. Let us look in detail. The areas anesthetized are the anterior portion of heart palate. Overlying structures like soft tissues from incisors to bicuspid area. The branches of anterior palatine nerve coursing distally create a dual innervation. Nerves anesthetized are the nasopalatine nerve is the target nerve during its path as it emerges from the anterior palatine foramen which is located on the anterior palate in the midline of palate. The anatomical landmarks for nasopalatine nerve block are maxillary central incisor teeth. Incisive papilla in the middle of the heart palate and the location is posterior to the middle of maxillary central incisors. The nerve anesthetized in nasopalatine nerve block is nasopalatine nerve bilaterally. The air indications are when palatal soft tissue anesthesia is required for exclusively anterior one third. Secondly, for pain control during periodontal or oral surgical procedures involving palatal anterior one third and is used as supplemental anesthetic procedure for blocks like anterior superior alveolar nerve block. Technique for nasopalatine nerve block. Here I will discuss multiple needle penetration technique exclusively three step injection technique. The melamide recommends 27 gauge short needle. However, a clinical tip from my side is you can even use 31 gauge ultra fine 1 ml insulin syringe. The areas of needle insertion is for step number 1 labial frenum in the midline between maxillary central incisors. Area of insertion for step number 2 injection is interdental papilla that is dental papilla between maxillary central incisors. Area of insertion for number 3 injection is palatal soft tissues lateral to incisive papilla. The ultimate target area is incisive foramen beneath the incisive papilla behind the maxillary central incisors. Let us start from first injection which is a local infiltration injection. Retract the upper lip to stretch the tissues and improve the visibility. Gently insert the needle into the frenum laterally and deposit approximately 0.3 ml of anesthetic solution in approximately 15 seconds. Injection number 2. Retract the upper lip gently to increase the visibility. The operator will sit at 11 to 12 o'clock position facing in the same direction as patient. Ask the patient to tilt the head towards the right to provide proper angle for needle penetration. Hold the needle at the right angle to the interdental papilla. Insert it into the papilla just above the level of crystal bone. Direct it towards the incisive papilla. Soft tissues on the labial surface have previously been anesthetized, so there will be no discomfort. However, as the needle penetrates towards the unanesthetized palatal side, it will become necessary to administer minute volumes of solution to prevent discomfort. During the second injection, you can easily see the needle approaching from the interdental papilla between the maxillary central incisors towards and beneath the incisive papilla. Care must be taken to avoid puncture from papilla into the oral cavity. When the needle is sufficiently reached below the incisive papilla, ischemia occurs and the needle tip becomes visible beneath the tissue surface. Do a negative aspiration and then deposit a solution approximately 0.3 ml in approximately 15 seconds. Stabilization of syringe in the second injection is somewhat challenging but critical. Use of finger from the other hand to stabilize the needle is recommended. However, syringe barrel must be held such that it will remain within the patient's line of sight. The third injection, it is used only if second injection has failed to provide adequate palatal anesthesia. By the incisive papilla, the point of needle insertion is the lateral margin of incisive papilla. Ask the patient to open the mouth wide and extend his neck. Advance the needle until contact is made with the bone. Withdraw needle 1 mm to prevent a subperiosteal injection. After negative aspiration, slowly deposit not more than 0.3 ml of anesthetic in approximately 
15 seconds. Please note that the use of topical and pressure anesthesia is unnecessary in second and third injections because the tissues that the needle penetrates have already been anesthetized by first and second injections respectively. Wait for 2-3 to three minutes for the onset of anesthesia before beginning the dental treatment. The signs and symptoms of nasoplatin block is numbness of the upper lip in the midline and the anterior portion of palate in multiple injection method and no pain during dental therapy. The safety features you should keep in mind is aspiration should be negative and there should be contact with bone especially in third injection. Advantages It is relatively or entirely a traumatic injection. Disadvantages It requires multiple injection maybe two or three and difficult to stabilize the syringe during the second injection.